Hello and welcome to Tutorial Thursday. Today I am featuring a tutorial, a very simple tutorial for a tag pocket that I came up with this week. I'm sure I've seen people do this before. I'm not trying to claim um, originality in this, but anyway, it's just something I thought of and I'm sure I've seen examples and all of that before, but this is a giant shipping tag from Junk That Treasures. So you can check out her Etsy shop and get some of these yourself. But these are, as you can see, compared to my hand, they're huge. And so I went to put this in a journal and I realized it was going to take up pretty much the whole page, which is really neat, but that's not really what I wanted for the page. I wanted to add some more um, character. To it. So I decided I was going to shorten this by turning it into a pocket. So all I did was fold up to make a pocket. And then with my sewing machine, I stitched here and here. So again, I'm going to grab my sewing machine and try to bring it into view. And let's see what we got here. Turn that on. And then I'm just going to zigzag. You don't, you could use whatever stitch you wanted. And I just go down one side, back stitch a little bit at the end so it doesn't pull out, and then stitch here as well. All right, move the machine. Move your way. And so this is the basics of it. I'm going to take my scissors and just trim right here and trim up here which you could leave those if you wanted to so now we have a nice pocket to slip a piece of ephemera or something else in and then like i usually do i'm just going to ink up my edges this is just a one of those like makeup blender sponges i've been playing around with using that with some of the inks Okay, and there you go. And then what I did on my other one was I just added some lace or trim here. You can do stamping. You can put in anything you want in the pocket. You can leave the pocket empty for, you know, someone else to put something in. You can add a ribbon or trim. You can do mixed media. There's so many things you can do once you have this tag pocket. Now it doesn't take up the whole space and it adds more. You could turn this pocket into a tuck spot and the way I would do that is I would put hot glue along this edge and this edge and then put it on the page. And so you could tuck something here and then still tuck something here. So that's my little uh, tutorial for today. Pretty simple. I was going to do the mini fairy junk journal tutorial today and I couldn't find where I put my uh, fairy supplies. I've had so many journals going on. I set them somewhere. And so when I find them, I will do that for you guys. So hopefully this is something you'll be able to use. So thank you and have a great Thursday.